Hello everyone, Toxic Flame here, and today in this video, I'm going to be playing this game called Universe Sandbox. It's a pretty cool game. I've never played it before on my channel, so I'm pretty excited to show you guys this game. But um, you may have heard about it. I don't know. But basically, as you can see here, it's a game where you have planets and you simulate stuff. All right, so I'm going to start a new simulation. And basically, I'm just going to do stuff in the simulation, and, you know, you guys can recommend to me whatever you want to see by commenting, you know, commenting down below. And, um, I'll read those comments every now and again. I will try and not forget that. I won't forget that, actually. And, yeah, basically... Um, this will be a new series now. Also, big announcement. I gotta emphasize that, by the way. It's a big announcement, after all. Um, from now on, on Tuesdays, on my second channel, every Tuesday, I'm gonna be announcing a, a new devlog or new updates and developments with Toxic Land. So you guys know what's going on there. Also, the official release is coming out in about, if I was to say, I'd probably say three to four months if I'm slow. But if I can get it done a bit quicker, it might be out within the next month and a half. I'm not sure yet, so don't get your hopes up. But the official release for Toxic Land is coming soon, so you guys will be able to officially play it. And it will be finished, the main features that I have planned will be finished. And then, if I ever want to just add anything else, I will. And those would come in the form of future updates. It's all cool. Alright, so... Oh, I just realized how close the black hole gets to this one. That's not gonna be an issue. I'm sure it won't. Yeah, this is basically just a short video. Uh, tomorrow... <clears throat> Might I announce that tomorrow is, um, Friday. I'm thinking about the weekend. On the weekend, now, I'm gonna post every weekend, alright? From now on, I'll post once every weekend. And that will be pretty cool. And... Basically, I don't think I'll be able to post every weekday, but occasionally, for more of the shorter videos, I'll be able to post. So, yeah. That's gonna be pretty cool. And, uh, basically, I'm just gonna make this, save it, see what happens, and then we'll move on to the next part of the video. Um, why won't that orbit around? It's probably gonna orbit around the black hole. Yeah. Just as suspected. That's the only planet I can add around this star. Other planet. Unless I make it further away. Yeah. Like that. Alright, cool. Let's just call it... No, 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 no. That's too lame. Yeah. Although it's not really a copy, because last time I checked, our solar system doesn't have a black hole and another star orbiting around it. And it also doesn't have two dwarf planets as, in like, inner planets. But now I'm going to see what happens if we just play time and speed it up very fast. Black holes and stars and planets. Also, this guy's going crazy. He's destabilized. I think he's going to crash into the black hole. That would be pretty cool to watch. Oh, he's actually going to get in a binary orbit with the black hole for a second there. How big is he? 
It's the size of Earth, basically. Just a little bit bigger than Earth. And right now it says that they're kind of... Uh... Yeah, they're... Oh, that's so cool. They're binary. Right now. Oh, never mind. Wait. I don't know what's gonna happen. Is it just gonna get launched into outer space? I know it pulled itself back in. This is actually pretty neat. Uh, okay, it looks like he's gone. There's nothing else to see. What happened to the plants around here? Are they still there? C crazy solar flares. Holy. Alright, they're pretty unstabilized, but they haven't crashed yet, which is a good sign, unless they have. That one looks like it actually has life. That one looks like it actually doesn't have life, and that one also looks like it doesn't have life. Alright. This black hole is still being... No, never mind, it's orbiting. However you pronounce that. Like Anna or something. Now we click on it. We click. Nope. It's not gonna get pulled by the other planets. It's gonna be n still. It's not gonna move. And everything else looks good. Then we can unpause the simulation and see what happens. Does anything survive? Nothing does, it's just, like, nothing wants to actually go inside Venus, I mean, not Venus, inside Beetlejuice right now, and I don't know why. There's got to be at least one thing that will have a good orbit around Beetlejuice, like, Sedna. I'm actually going to follow it, because I have a feeling that it might actually do good. It might survive the longest, actually. So it's current. Did it just pass by again? I think it did. I think it did. Alright. This is right now the only thing that has a stable orbit. Ignore that Discord message. Okay, so it gets incredibly hot. Who would have knew? And it actually has a very bad orbit because it's the only thing that will survive and it's going to be too hot for life. But every time it passes by Beetlejuice, it should extend its orbit just by a little bit. Look at how hot that gets. It gets thousands of degrees and then instantly cools. That's crazy. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of this video. I can't speak today, but hope you guys enjoyed and